George Clooney, Brad Pitt, and John Malkovich, you think the new flick, Burn After Reading, is about as subtle as a punch in the face. That's fantastic. And you'd be right. At the Oscar-winning Coen Brothers, a heaping helping of a quirky covert CIA storyline and a dash of crass. We'll pull around the corner, we'll do it in the back. The so cool. The back of the car, not, not in a rear entry situation. And you've got a recipe for a delicious flick that'll have the audience dancing in the aisles. Please don't do that there aren't enough movies with people randomly breaking into song at high school basketball games, it's High School Musical 3. Right now I can hardly breathe. Oh, you... And since High School Musical fans tend to be a bit younger, CTV reporter Jorge Aparicio asks the hard-hitting questions every seven-year-old is dying to ask. Do you like bacon on pizza? Sure, why not? Yeah. Why do I have to go to bed so early? This is the just just And as far as randomly breaking into lip sync songs, well, we think it's okay for one, two, three, four. I don't know why I'm out here on stage. Because random songs have all become the rage. This is a little weird, so let's turn the page. I'm Marlene, and now you're on the up. Brendan Fraser is having a favorite tale New Year as he plays a bookworm who brings characters to life in the movie adaptation of Inkheart. My voice brought them out. That's how it works. Okay, a tad bit deeper than Encino Man. CTV's own Christian Vera sat down with Frazier and his on-screen daughter Eliza Bennett to find out how deep Brendan's influence on the project really goes. It's also not every day that you can have a character written inspired by you. The author sent me the novel. Thank you for inspiring the character of Mo. Once was a man named Colin Farrow, and he was in love with a girl named Darlene. And then one day he... Whoa, did somebody call me? No, and here, take this, I think it's broken. Well, what I really want is a burrito. You can have this. I'm Marlene Santana, now you're on the up. Can I have some? No. All right, well don't have a cow about it. Some say twins have their own language. The twin speak gets extra freaky when it's a woman's dead brother talking to her from beyond the grave in The Unborn. Am I a twin, Dad? He died while the two of you were still in Europe. By living, you denied it entry into our world. CTV's own Jorge Aparicio caught up with Odette on the set of The Unborn in Chicago to find out her mindset when working on a scary movie. So I don't feel like it's a scary movie. I almost think of them as, you know, thrillers, and so that, that kind of gets me through it. But come on, the idea of some unknown evil twin is a bit... Hello, Arlene. Oh. My. Gosh. I wish I had blue eyes like you. Oh my gosh, thanks. I'd kill for your hair. Seriously. I'd kill. I'm Arlene, and now you're on the up.